the math and the physics department. It's perhaps one of the oldest in the UCF and uh, we shall be witnessing uh, testimony to it by seeing a symbol which was formed uh, in its early stages. Earlier UCF used to be known as Florida Techni Technological University, FTU, which later on was renamed to UCF in 1968. So we will have an entrance here. Right here. You can, you can smell, the, smell the distinct uh, you know, yeah. order in this building. the earliest uh, emblem of the UCF, Florida Technological University, 1963. It was established during, at this time, I think this university was, uh, was uh, initiated with the purpose of uh, helping Kennedy Space Center for their yeah. technical needs. Yeah, the major purpose was this. And when its role expanded, it went on to become a university. This is the math and physics I was talking about. It has a physics department on the top, if you can see the third floor. So it looks like we have seen quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So next video we can see about the other departments, the other facilities like gym, perhaps one of the best gyms you can see in the center of Florida. Uh, you have, there is a small building out here, the feral commons. It might not be visible, is it? It is not visible, but at least right, okay. the building is quite okay. Okay, so this is the building, this is the feral commons building. And inside this you have the experiential learning center. And if you have hit on an OPT or a CVT, you will definitely need to visit this for funds. All these procedures for working off campus employment are done here. And the career services center is also located down here. So you need to visit this for your uh, career fairs or for your off campus employment. And the place we are walking to, it's very close to the health center. Uh, most of the people who will be living in Night's Landing have their, have their shuttle stops right next to the health center, from which you can walk down to the engineering or your respective departments and have your classes there. Uh, precisely speaking, shuttle number five and nine stop there. And uh, whole campus has various shuttle routes stopping at various places like the number one stops at Millican Hall you have the five and nine here so it depends sometimes the location so most of the Indian students live in Knights Landing Arbor apartments and university apartments so those three apartments can be covered uh, covered uh, the shuttle numbers with the shuttle numbers five and nine uh, this was the building I was talking about the federal commons when you just go inside, take a left, you will have the career, career services center and the experiential learning center. 